guys i'm so excited to make this video because it's been a long time and i know a lot of you have found me on youtube and instagram because you discovered my old <laughs> pandora collection video that i did with my mom years went by after that video i was like massively obsessed with pandora for the longest time and then i just kind of fell off and I was getting into other jewelry brands and I kind of forgot about it. I had everything in my little Pandora jewelry box, which I'm going to share here in a second, in my jewelry drawers. And it was just kind of tucked away. But two years ago, we went to Disney and Disney has always done these exclusive charms like Disney Parks exclusives that you can only get in Disney World. And that started igniting my obsession with Pandora again because it was just fun kind of like hunting the charms like we did back in the day for makeup and other stuff. A lot of the, there's a lot of places in Disney World that you can, and I'm not so familiar with Disneyland. I've gotten a couple charms there, but in Disney World, there's a lot of, um, each park has like a retailer that sells Pandora and then downtown Disney has Pandora and they all have a lot of the same common charms. Then there are some other stores that have a charm that maybe another star store wouldn't have. And because we're not hitting every park every day, it was just a fun thing to try to like find them. And I started researching them again and trying to find like old retired Disney charms or ones that were going to be retired or, you know, new ones coming out. And I had friends that were in Disney trying to track me down charms and I was trying to track them down charms. So it's kind of ignited my passion again for Pandora. And so my collection has grown quite a bit since the last Pandora video, which was a long time ago. I've gotten rid of some, sold some, replaced some. But if you watch my original Pandora video, you'll see I do have a good bulk of my original collection. So I'm going to show you my entire Pandora collection. Start here. I always get this question on Instagram. This was, I think, a free gift with purchase years and years and years ago. But this is the jewelry box that I keep my Pandora charms in. It's three layers. The first layer has a spot for three bracelets. And in here, I just have the remaining things that I'm going to be selling. I'll show them here if any of you are interested. Reach out. This is the gray leather. And then I have... Um, a little clip charm that looks like this that's a clip this is like a brown crystal I don't think you can even get a lot of these anymore because they're just super old this is another little spacer this is a Murano it's like a cherry blossom Murano and then another brown crystal so those are the ones that I don't have on any of my bracelets and I will be selling the next layer is a tray with three little pillows that you can keep three finished bracelets, which I'll show you. And then the final tray is one for your charms, which I actually don't have any loose charms in here. I like to wear my charms. I like to keep my bracelets together. It's very rare that I would be like mixing and matching and replacing different charms. This is the one charm that I keep off my bracelet, but I will be putting on very soon. This is a Mickey and on the back of him, it says Boo. This was not an exclusive, but it's a Disney charm. You can get this actually right now. I'll link to, I will link to any of the charms that are still available in the description box below along with the bracelet. But this is the cutest and it's in like a, a little orange enamel. So that one I will keep separate. And then I'll add that onto my bracelet as we get closer to Halloween. So let me start with my original. And the reason I don't wear this one all that often is because I don't wear silver very much at all ever anymore. But a lot of these charms are just so special to me and have so much nostalgia attached that I just will never get rid of these charms. I like to mix my metals. So there are times that I will wear this with my gold because obviously I have silver in my watch. Let's do it. Let's go through and I'll show you. And a lot of these, if you saw my original, will... Be familiar so we will start on this end I have the mother daughter charm which you might remember the video I did with my mom this charm didn't exist we had another one I forget what it, it was like best friends it was butterfly best friends so now there is there was I don't think it's still available so I have the one that says daughter and the red enamel I have the little dog house it was from my boy Jakey who sadly has passed away has the little red enamel heart. This is the journey bead. 
my life already has been such a journey. There's a lot of been a lot of bumps in the road. So that one is just a really good representation. I almost actually sold this charm on Instagram and then one of my followers talked me out of it. This is a newer charm. This is so cute. It's got a little pink dumbbell. It's a dangle. Um, 2020 was the year that I COVID and I was just losing my marbles with all the kids being home virtually school and my job was from home and Dan's job was from home and it was just mass chaos. And so I got with my friend Louisa, who's a personal trainer in Canada, and she was doing like Zoom calls of workouts and I've stuck with her for the last two years and that was just like my me time during that time. So I got that charm to just represent a stronger, healthier me. This is a crystal. This is the same one that I have, but in brown that I'm trying to sell. This one is so funny. This is the Kate and um, Princess Kate charm that they did from the royal wedding. C and W, William. And then the back has the little blue sapphire heart. This is the turquoise daisy, which was a birthstone charm. So that was for December. This was just a little black onyx drop. The little owl, I graduated from Temple University. And so I got the owl because that was the mascot there. Another little spacer crystal, a pave bead. I love this one. This is a clip and it's a pearl and it's double-sided. It's a little pearl dangle. This is a like opal cabochon charm. Oh, this is a new charm. This is still available. I can link this one and the little hand weight are both still available. So I'll link those. I love this one. And I might actually put this on one of my other charm bracelets. I haven't decided. It is a dangle and it's three charms with the protective eye in silver, the hamsa in gold, and a little feather in rose gold. Love that one. This is the little strawberry. I've had this one and I had this one before I was ever a mom, but for some reason, this one reminds me of my daughter, Addie. I don't know why. She loves strawberries, maybe. This one has the really pretty, like, green sage color. This was just a plain little dangle heart. My initial... Ooh, this is the Buddha. I love the Buddha. My mom has this one, too. The evil eye. This is probably my most favorite Pandora charm ever. It's double-sided. And in the Greek culture, I'm half Greek, and in the Italian culture too, I feel like every culture has like um, the protective eye. That was like a big thing. So that was why I got that one. I have the little leaf spacer. Fall's my favorite season, so it's only appropriate. And then the little perfume bottle, which has the orange crystal on top. I love, love, love this one. So this is my silver bracelet, kind of mixed metal, not really though. I don't wear it all that often, but we'll never part with these charms. Next, I have a little holiday bracelet that I started last year and I actually broke it and lost this. So I do need to replace this. However, I'm not really into silver. Like I said, I've been getting rid of a lot of my silver. So I want to replace this either with a two-tone or a rose gold bracelet. And I don't think, I mean, if I start to get a larger collection of holiday charms and I might convert to like a traditional snake chain bracelet. But for now, I really like the bangle and how they're all centered. A lot of these charms I got last year on Rue La La, which is like a, think of it as like a Nordstrom rack, but all different designer brands. And they have Pandora all the time. They've had the same charms for a long time now. Um, and then they'll bring in new. So I check that site frequently. And a lot of these are actually still on there. Like I said, I'll link to them if they're available. But this one is a mixed metal it's like a little manger. I, I don't know. It's kind of, it's an angel, a snowflake, and a little star that's in gold. It's double-sided. It reminds me of like a manger scene. On the bottom, it says Merry Christmas. It's in cursive. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Then we have a little reindeer in rose gold. I love him. And he has a little collar that has crystals in it. I don't think my phone's doing the best job focusing. This was a new release last year from Pandora. It's a snow globe, and I love this one. It's a dangle, and it also has, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. It has, like, little glitter particles in it if you shake it up, and it has a really pretty background when you open it, but it is, like, a 3D charm. I just thought that was so pretty. This is the hot cup of cocoa with a little red heart and the candy cane with the whipped cream. This is a retired charm, but I think you can still get it on Pandora's website. I'll check and see, and if so, I'll put it below. 
rose gold sparkly Christmas tree, which is still available on Rue La La. And then this is a little enamel ornament, which was on Rue La La at some point. I actually got this in Radio City in New York at the Rockettes Christmas Spectacular show, I think 2012, because I was pregnant. It was 2012. But I have seen this pop up on Rue La La, but it's really cute. It has a little star and a moon dangle. So that's my little holiday bracelet. I do want to add to that this year. Let's go to my two-tone. This is my favorite Pandora bracelet. And I've shared this one in my Pandora collection. I got rid of some. I got divorced. Got, you know, remarried, all the things. But I had some charms on here from my ex. <laughs> I was just feeling like it was giving me bad energy. So I replaced some of these and... I do now have some space for new additions. It's really hard to find like the two, I feel like the two-tone charms were, there was a better assortment years ago when I was collecting than there is now. They have the new Pandora, I'm saying new, but it's not new. New, they didn't have, maybe they did, I don't know. They have a shine collection, which is gold, but it's like gold plated. It's not 14 karat gold and they have a good collection of those, but I really prefer the 14 karat gold and two-tone because I just feel like, and as you can see, these just have held up and they just look amazing. Um, I actually cleaned all my bracelets the other night and that's what prompted me to share them because it just, they look so sparkly. Okay, so on my two-tone, I have the safety chain, which is, you can see silver and then it has like little gold hearts. So there's a lot of money on this bracelet. I don't ever want to lose a charm. So we got the safety chain. So this is a clip just for extra reinforcement. I have a clip there on the end. I had the clip before the safety chain, but that is there. It's got a little gold dot. This is the Christ charm. My best friend, when she was living over in Germany, tracked this down for me. It was exclusive to Germany, and she was able to track this charm down for me and brought it home. It's a little gold open heart. Reminds me of the Elsa Peretti from Tiffany's, but that's there. I have a crystal one with champagne crystals. This is another one. I don't remember the significance. It was a brown charm. I think I ruined it from cleaning it in the solution. It was a brown pearl with a little brown crystal on top. The Cinderella carriage with the pearl on top. They don't make this specific one anymore, but they do have... A few Cinderella carriages, you can get the same style, but this one has the 14 karat gold, karat gold crown and pearl, and you can see the little silhouette of Cinderella sitting in there. I love that. This is a clip with the 14 karat gold little shoe, little Cinderella shoe or a high heel, a brown crystal spacer. I have two of these clips, one here and one here. Um, they are silver clips with like a little gold flower. The queen bee, love the queen bee with the little gold crown. That's one of my favorites. This is a 14 karat gold charm that I got on Rue La La for like less than half. It was, I think a $400 charm and I paid $179. So we'll see if that is still there, but I love this. It's an open heart charm. I need more like 14 karat gold charms just to add a little bit more gold. Right. this is a little brown crystal I don't know I feel like the brown you'll notice I have clear and brown crystals like champagne too a few um just really accents the gold and the silver this was a Black Friday charm I don't think that they do this anymore do they I don't know the Black Friday like exclusive so it has three black hearts and then a gold 14 karat gold heart and it had the year 2011 is that what that says I think it's 2011. I think it is. Okay. Then we have the little clutch, which is one of my favorites. I love the detail of this one with the gold top, the heart and lock, which is gold. This one's really pretty too. Little flower, the gold dots. I have that other clip that I just showed you. This is the buttercup charm. It has the champagne crystal on top with a little champagne dangle at the bottom. Like that. 
This is another little purse that I think is so cute with the gold bow. I don't love it as much as the clutch, but I do love it. Cupcake, the gold bead on top. Another little dangle. It's a puffed heart in the 14 karat gold. Another initial bead. The M is in gold. And then my safety chain. I don't know. I just don't feel like they make two-tone charms like this anymore, at least not from what I've seen. So let me put this safety chain back on and I'll show you my next one. Okay. I love it. Next, these are all my Disney charms and bracelets. Let's show you the rose gold one first. So this was a park exclusive bracelet. It's the one that you can actually detach both sides when you, when you pinch this. You can do this from both sides and my nails make it a little challenging, but both sides do this and then you can feed the charms on this way. And this was a park exclusive bracelet. I was just in the parks again in July and I saw this in several of the stores. The reason it makes it exclusive is it has the little Mickey ears pulley. However, the one that's available on Pandora, same exact bracelet. The only difference is this is just a little rose gold ball. So if you like the look of this, and this one also comes in silver and gold. If you like the look of this and aren't going to Disney or aren't a Disney fan, they do have this style. I'll link to it. But this one with the Mickey ears is exclusive to the parks. And then there's two little beads there. Okay, so on here I just have two little spacer clips in the rose gold and crystal. The little rose gold Cinderella carriage, which is not exclusive to Disney parks, but it is a Disney Pandora charm, but anybody can buy it. This one also comes in silver as well. It's a little bit more crystal than the one that I have on here is a little bit more, um, <clears throat> it's a little bit more of a metal, like solid metal. This one has more crystals. We got the rose gold Mickey ears. There are quite a few Disney ear band, like mini ear headband charms in Disney. I believe this one is exclusive to the parks. There's a few others though that are just from Disney that you can get. And I love this one. This is a Cinderella exclusive parks bead. It's rose gold, but on the inside is the prettiest blue. And you can just see it kind of like peeking through. So this you can only get in the parks. That is my rose gold. I don't really intend on adding too much more to this one. I might do, I really love rose gold, and I might just do like a rose gold snake or a rose gold mesh bangle to do like a larger collection of charms. But I really like the look of this. And for this style, because it's a lightweight and a pulley, I don't wanna load this whole thing with charms, if that makes sense. And then this is my Disney bracelet. And I love this. I love this. There's just so much memories and good times attached to this because like I said, I just have, have had so much fun collecting and finding. And I have all of these on a gold mesh bangle, which I love. I actually am thinking about getting another one because they're on Rue La La right now. So you can get them because you can't get the gold mesh bangles through Pandora anymore. I think they're retired. So I actually prefer the mesh bangle over the snake chain personally. So I might actually get another gold mesh bangle just to have for my next bracelet because you can't get these easily. So I can't like open the bracelet up. So I'm just going to take you around. It's not 14 karat gold either. I have two of the crystal spacers, same as the ones that I have in rose gold, two of them in gold. We'll start from this end. This was my first ever Disney charm when I went a couple years ago. It's just one of the castles. They have since added a lot of castle charms to their collection, all with different details. And on the bottom of this charm, it says Walt Disney World. There's one that says Disneyland as well. Okay, then I have these matching Minnie and Mickey charms. And I got these, I think last year on my trip, they had just come out in the stores, but they were a reissue. So when I was in the store talking to the Pandora, associate the guy was like oh yeah they had these I think in like 2017 and then they ended up just bringing them back last year so there's one with Mickey and all of his details and then the other one is Minnie and her little polka dots and bow 
Okay, this is the little carousel charm, like the merry-go-round Mickey. I love that it's kind of striped. Just love the detail. And it's Mickey on a little merry-go-round, even though the merry-go-round makes me so dizzy and I can't go on that ride with my kids. Okay, the It's a Small World charm. I love this. I actually got this one in Disneyland in downtown Disney in... I don't remember the name of the store. I'll put it in the description box. It has a lot of retired Disney charms. So this one has the clock in the purple enamel. Blue enamel says it's a small world. And then the pink is one of the details of the ride. I was so excited to find that one because that is one of like... If you're a Disney Pandora collector, that's like one of the good ones. I was really excited to find that one. Okay, this was another castle, only it's flat. And I got this last year. It's a it's a guy and a girl with Mickey ears, and they're holding hands looking at the sparkly castle. And I got this one in October of last year when we went to Disney for Halloween because we were actually there on our wedding anniversary. So I bought that to commemorate our wedding anniversary. This is another one that I got in that store. I was, I was like, when I found it, because I know this was also a really like gone, retired, hard to find charm. This is the merry-go-round and it's the, it's exactly like this. So it's a two-tone. The top has the little gold Mickey ears, but the whole charm is silver. So for a little while there, I did have it on my two-tone bracelet, but then I ended up moving it over to here because I initially had all of these charms on a silver mesh bangle, which I ended up selling and switched them all over to the gold mesh bangle because I just want this to be more of a two-tone because I'll just wear it more because I just wear a lot more gold than I do silver and I do like to mix, but I'd rather have more pops of gold on here. Where are we at? Okay. The fireworks charm, Mickey and Minnie looking up at the fireworks. This one says happily ever after on the other side. This one, and it has little star cutouts. This one was hard to find, so I had heard, but I see this charm every time I go to Disney in every store. This was an exclusive for the 50th anniversary of Disney World. I was so excited to get my hands on it. They had a couple 50th anniversary charms. I really wanted this one because it had the, the gold. You can actually get this one on Pandora's website, so it's not a park exclusive. This is the World Showcase. I love this one. It's super sparkly. This was the one I just got in our recent Disney trip this past July. I've had this one on my wish list. It has the pink enamel, the Epcot. World Showcase, and it's just super sparkly. The Disney balloons, such a symbol. I have heard that they are retiring this one, but I do see this one everywhere. It doesn't seem that hard to find. The little Cinderella with the blue crystals. I got this one when I got my castle. These are the two charms that I got when I first went to Disney years ago. I don't think it was a park exclusives, but I think it was a Disney Pandora, but they don't make it anymore. This one, you guys, when I went into... This was, I went two years ago, downtown Disney, into the Pandora store. They pulled out their tray. And when I saw this one, I about died because this was a Disney park exclusive from, I think, 2017. They very rarely make 14 karat gold solid Disney park exclusive charms. So when I saw this one, I was like, Yes, please. The only thing that stunk about this one is in Disney, because we are DVC members and annual pass holders, they give you a discount on everything. And you can use that on your Pandora charms, but they would not let me use it on this charm. <laughs> it's little Mickey swirls. It's like swirled little things of his face and ears. This one is Tinkerbell, I think. Yeah, it's another one that She's kind of flying over the castle, which if you've ever seen the fireworks show in Magic Kingdom, it's what she does. Okay, this one I thought was a Frozen charm for the longest time, but it's not. It was just released, I think, in the winter time. It has a snowflake on the bottom. I like to think of it as a Frozen charm, but it's a little snow globe. It says magic on one side, and it has a picture, I think, of the castle on the other side can't tell if it's like a castle or just like a group of people family I think it's the castle 
Okay, Cinderella wrapped in the blue crystals as she's changing into her sparkly dress. This one is a Disney Pandora, not a park exclusive. You can get this one online. I will link to it below. And that is it. That is where we started. So that's my bracelet. I look to see what, because we're going to Disney again this year for Halloween, and I look to see what Halloween charms they have coming out, and I'm not crazy thrilled with them. So I don't know that I'm going to be getting a Halloween specific one. I'm not a big Halloween person. I did see they have like a Hocus Pocus one coming out and Addie is a freak for Hocus Pocus. So maybe she'll get that for hers. I bought her a Pandora bracelet last year to start the tradition. So each year we go to Disney, she gets a charm. So maybe she'll pick that charm. I'm not a big Halloween fan. I'd rather get something else to add to my collection. And... It's always fun kind of like plotting before I go, but I don't know. I don't know which one I want to get next. One other thing I want to share, this is a ring from Pandora that is still on Rue La La. It's rose gold and it's beautiful. It looks like a real diamond. I bought this at a local boutique by my house that sells Pandora, but they have it on Rue La La for like half the price that I paid. So I just wanted to show it to you since I'm showing you my Pandora collection. That is Pandora. So... That is everything, my friends. Updated Pandora collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because every time that we go to Disney, I always share my Disney haul, which is bound to include some Pandora charms. Oh, you know what is on kind of on my radar? There is a hand, a glove in all gold with the different jewels from Marvel. And I saw it last year. Oh, and the other one that's on my radar, the Winnie the Pooh. There's a whole new Winnie the Pooh collection, not a park exclusive, but a Disney for Pandora. They have a whole thing. I love the piglet too. Piglet is pink enamel on a rose gold. It's a dangle, but the Winnie the Pooh is gold with his little red shirt. So he's definitely on my radar when we go back in October. I forgot, but the glove getting back to that, I saw that cause they have all the Marvel charms and all the superheroes and I was never really into it. And Dan and the kids have always been into them, but into the movies. But I said to Dan this last time, I can't get the charms without like really having an appreciation for the movies. So when we came home from Disney in July, he's like, we're going to watch all the Marvel movies. So we have been going one by one through all of them. We're up to the second Thor and I've really been enjoying them. Like I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get into them a lot two years ago when he started what he spent one summer with the kids just going through all of them. So maybe I'll get that. I don't want to get those charms until I can fully grasp like an appreciation for all of the the different jewels and the charms but th some of those are in gold too so I think those would be really great additions to my gold Disney bracelet I also at some point do you want to start another Disney bracelet that's just a lot of like Mickey and Minnie in red like red and gold because there's a lot of those charms and a lot of them are not park exclusives but I think that would be really fun or like Disney mom charms I wear a lot of red and red just is Disney so I feel like that would be just really fun to do a charm bracelet like that so just wanted to share my creative juices and what I'm thinking but yes the Winnie the Pooh charm I forgot about him and the piglet so cute so that's it if you guys have questions let me know thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next Friday bye